Hello folks and welcome. Zoran OS 16.2, the GNOME desktop. So today I'm filming in 1920 by 1080, the native screen resolution for this desktop currently. Uh, some of these um, characters are enlarged and so are the icons on my desktop. You can actually do that yourself also to make large icons on your desktop. But more importantly, when I get into uh, explaining uh, some of these things, I'll try to enlarge the text as I go. So welcome folks. I'm going to talk about power options today, creating a power key on your desktop. I'm also going to create a shortcut to one key on my keyboard that doesn't ask questions about powering down the system. That one I'm going to talk about a little bit of caution. But in either case, I'm going to show some different power options to you folks today. This particular key is running a two-line script, which if you're not too sure about how to write a script, I'll show you how to do that also. Welcome, folks. Our user for today is Mark. It's just a made-up name, and I'm going to use Alt-F4 to close the terminal window and continue. Alt-F4 cl closes any window and so on. So this one runs a script. The keyboard shortcut does not run a script, but it uses the same command. I'll show you that toward the latter part of this video. My video will be more than two minutes, but they all have timelines and chapters. So I'm going to open up the Zorin menu and type in text. So I have gedit that is de installed by de default, and then I added kwrite through the uh, software store. And I'm going to use that because I can blow up the text while showing you the scripts. So let me first open up the file manager. And as we know, we can either do it my way as far as resizing, or you can do it the old fashioned way. All right, I'm going to open up documents, some scripts. Maybe you've seen my videos on rsync or remote sync uh, for backing up your system file. So that script is actually the same as this, but they are separate. In other words, they use the same command. So let me open this up for you. This is a script file. If I double click on it and hit run, it'll terminate my video and shut down my system. I'm going to use Kwrite to open this up. And then I'm going to make the text a lot larger for you. So as you can see, there's two lines. And I'll explain that in a second. Okay, so I could technically run this from here, but this is sort of inefficient because I have to open up my file manager and then click that. This is probably more efficient. How about if we create this from scratch? Sure, why not? So let me talk about a couple of things when it comes to icons. If you want some different icons, may I suggest going to the internet and downloading them yourself? There's plenty of places that you can download icons. So what I did was I have an icon folder. So you can create yourself a new folder, download some icons, and then drag them into your icons folder. So let me show you what mine looks like. Mine is kind of extensive. I'll resize the icons. But more importantly, I have some power down icons. Here's one and here's another. I'm going to use Alt F4 to close the screen. So let's create the text file or the script file, I should say. So I'm going to walk over to here and type in K for Kwrite. So I'm going to start with a new file and I'm going to make this larger for you so you can see what I'm typing. Using the upper row of my numeric keys, I'm going to first press shift and number three, it produces a pound. Then an explanation point is the number one. So let me make this a little bit larger. How's that? So it's a pound, explanation point, and then we need a forward slash. Normally found near your enter key. And then type in bin. And another forward slash bash. That stands for born again shell. Then type in system. CTL, all one word, and space, power, off. That's the whole script. The system CTL command, power off. Power off is the key. So there's your bin bash statement is what I call that. And there's the command itself. And then I am actually not going to close this. I'm going to save this to my desktop instead of saving it to my documents folder desktop. I'm going to call it power off. I'll use the uppercase. Why not? You can call it P1. You can call it X. You can call it whatever you want. 
All right, this is currently still a text file. Okay, so it basically has the text file icon. But it's going to be using a script when I get done with it. So as I pointed out earlier, I downloaded some icons from the internet. Okay, you can leave this as is if you like. But there is a thing you need to do to this file. If you decide to just use the generic icon, you need to make this executable. But more importantly, I'm going to sign it an icon, and I actually suggest doing it in this order so you don't have to do a screen ref refresh by logging out or just locking your screen and logging back in. All right, right click on the icon itself, hit properties if you want to sign an icon to it. Click the icon symbol, go find your folder that you saved your icons. In my case, it's this one. And I'm going to just type in PO for power. And I'm going to open that one up. All right, right now it's still not reflected yet until I hit permissions. And you need to do this anyways. If you don't, it doesn't work. Allow this to be executed as a program. That refreshes the screen at the same time. If you didn't do it in this order, you, your best bet is to probably just lock the screen and log back in or log back out and log back in to refresh the screen. But doing it this way is a lot easier. You can also just do that. All right, with that said, this gives me the option of running. As soon as I click that, it powers off my system. At least I have an option to cancel. The next one I'm going to show you, and, and the good thing about this one is you can move it around. And the reason this is enlarged is because this setting here is set for that um, to large icon size. Zorn appearance. Next item. Settings. I'm going to take and assign a key on my keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts. The shortcut is down at the bottom of your screen for custom. You can see that I have a custom shortcut called F12. I'm going to actually eliminate that by removing it and re uh, redoing that. Normally this is what you would see if you've never created a custom shortcut. So hit plus and give it a name. Power off sounds good to me. Okay, this is different from this because this one is going to power off your system immediately without any questions asked. But I'm going to I'm going to be using the exact same command. The exact same command. System CTL space power off. Same command I use in that script in here. All right, we need a key to assign it to, a key on your keyboard. I'm going to choose F12. It's a key that's not in use on my system. And I'm going to hit Add. Be very careful of using this one. If you create one of these for yourself, just be aware if you inadvertently hit that, it's going to power down your system immediately. But if you meant to do that, just be aware of this. Anytime you touch power keys, whether it's uh, the old-fashioned way, or the newly created ways that I'm showing you, always save your files before you attempt to power down your system. It's always a good idea to save your files. This is specifically true with this command. If I press F12 right now, it won't care that my simple screen recorder is running. It'll power down my system. It powers down the system immediately. So save your files first. There you have it. Recap time. So you can write yourself a script. You can create yourself a little icon. Download an icon off the internet. Create one yourself, whatever you want to do. You don't have to use a power off icon. You can put any uh, icon that you want in here. Or you can just leave the generic one that looks like a folder. And, or just stay with the old fashioned thing. Again, this is not everybody's cup of tea. And then you can uh, do that uh, keyboard shortcut. And then, of course, you can also create a script inside of your regular um, folders in here, but that defeats the purpose. This has a lot better use than this thing, thing does, but more importantly, they both do the same thing. I, I just left it up there for the demo part. Thank you for watching.